You may still be seeing some of the wet stuff on the sidewalks and the side of roadways that leftover snow and slush from the winter storm last week. I want to check in with Greg Fields to talk about why some of it won't budge and some of it Greg's on my house. Yes, it's going to be just about gone. A lot of those places were in the shade, but yeah, why hasn't all the uh, snow melted across parts of North Texas, even though we had temperatures in the 50s yesterday. So those high temperatures Saturday and Sunday were above 50. In fact, so let's talk about a few of the reasons with that uh, snow still sticking around albedo. That's a fancy way of saying the reflectivity of Snow. The snow has a very high albedo, meaning it reflects most of the sunlight that hits it. So that sunlight hits it and it's, with the snow being so white and bright, it, it bounces right back. So that prevents the uh, rapid melting, even though temperatures were well above freezing over the uh, weekend. Now the ground temperatures, the temperature of the ground beneath the snow can be cooler usually is than the uh, surrounding air. So that also will slow the melting process. And another factor will be uh, solar radiation. Even though we had plenty of sunshine, it's at a lower angle. So the angle does really impact the amount of snow uh, melting taking place as well. So that amount of sunlight reaching the snow, uh, reaching the snow influenced by cloud cover didn't have much of that over the weekend, but it will uh, that sun angle significantly impacts how quickly the snow melts. So those are a few a few of the factors that kept that snow around, even though we had sunshine there. A lot of those places were in the shade and those temperatures were above freezing. I don't think much of that will be sticking around, though, in the week ahead. So we'll talk more about that coming up. But now, Kara, back to you.